Get set with Cyclamen. Hi, I'm Ian Roof and welcome to Get Gardening and today I'm going to look at particularly planting cyclamen out uh, in this new piece of garden which I've created here uh, at my own little patch. Once again I've been out to the local nursery in search of interesting plants to grow and I've picked up two different types of cyclamen. I've got cyclamen coom which is a wonderful spring flowering corm, uh, will give us beautiful tiny cyclamen like flowers in the spring and interesting foliage as well and I got five of these these corms for £3.50 which is excellent and they're quite nice and plump as well as you can see uh, and they'll be going in here in a moment and I've also got cyclamen hedrofolium uh, also known as Neapolitanum and this is the autumn cyclamen that you will see in flower throughout August, September, October and even into November if the autumn's kind enough. Now as the name suggests hedrofolium uh, it's going to have leaves like an ivy, so it's going to have sort of ivy shaped leaves, sort of sagittate as we call it, and beautiful markings, silvers, greens, greys and whites on there. And these are even better as well. I also got five here for £3.50, but look at the size. Look how plump and wonderful they are. And what you'll notice on the top there as well, is you'll notice all those flowers, which we will get this season. You know, we could leave this, this corm in theory on a windowsill somewhere or you know, in a, in a jam jar lid, a little bit of moisture at the bottom and it would flower quite happily. So it's going to flower in the ground. Uh, and what these will do is they will sit just under the soil surface and I'll show you how to put them in. They'll produce their, their flowers first and then Neapolitanum or Hedrofolium in particular will have its leaves at a later date. Um, and then once those flowers are finished, the seed will get cycled down, it will get wound down, it will come down to ground level where it will swell up and then when it disperses its seed, that's when it has the ability to sort of spread and seed about. And it doesn't do it itself, it does it with the help of ants. As the seeds swell and develop, they are very appealing, they have um, nutrients on there that the ants will need, and they come in and they move them to nests underground or other parts to sort of take that feed off them. And that's how the cyclamen actually spreads itself about. So the idea here is that eventually I will end up with not huge, but just little carpets and drifts of cyclamen running through this slightly semi-shaded area. So let's see how we're going to do it. So let's start off with our hedrofolium. And I'm going to just place them sort of so I get a drift. Now, I suppose you could throw them down like you would with bulbs, but I don't really want that. I want to get a nice sort of carpet of, of foliage and, and flowers through here. I'm going to put this one down here. And in terms of, of planting, well, they don't have to be very deep, really. They only really want to be just under the soil surface. And you'll see what I said about this soil. You will see how it's been worked beautifully. You know, there's quite a lot of sand in there, but also you'll notice grass in there, which has rotted off, and you'll notice compost and organic matter. And it really is a really beautiful soil. It's a wonderful fibrous structure, which these, these plants will absolutely love. So let's think about putting them in. Right, so I've just got, I've brought a trowel with me, to be honest with you, you know, I could probably use my hands, to be quite honest. And you'll see that shoot there. I'm going to nestle that just below the soil. That's going to go in there like so, probably only inch and a half, maybe two inches top under the surface. I'm just going to cover that over again and do the same with this one. Just pop that in like so and that will come through. And this one here, it's a little bit hard there, so we'll just open that up a little bit. There we are, and that's going to do the same thing. Moving forward. Oh, what's in there? Let's have a look. Stone, we'll chuck that out of the way. And then we're gonna just nestle that in there as well and cover that back. And this one here will make that sort of final drift just like so and cover that over. And it will not be long, it should be in fact a few weeks before we get flowers on them. We should have wonderful pink cerise and possibly white flowers. I haven't picked any specific named cultivars, and there are sort of cultivars and species available that give you set colours but I've just gone for a mix here so I should get a lovely sort of 
blend of those pinks, cerises and whites and uh, followed by that wonderful marble foliage which will look great here in the semi-shade to give me some really good flowers through till, like I said, I mean probably early November will be great. And then we'll have a short gap, November, December, January, February, so not too long. And then the cyclamen and coom, which are these ones here, they will then do their thing. So they will then flower late winter, early spring, and they will give us those wonderful flowers again. And the same thing applies. I won't show you how to put them in, but the same rule applies just below the soil surface. Uh, you can see they're just now starting to shoot there a little bit earlier. They're relatively plump, which is nice. But if you were concerned about that, then you could rehydrate them just in some, some water temporarily. But they'll get away no problem at all. And hopefully they'll seed and give us wonderful variegated carpets of foliage. Hey!